Hi everyone, welcome back to This Book Belongs to Pam. Today I am going to share with you my TBR for November. I know it's very late. It's actually November 10 right now that I'm filming it. Like it's exactly midnight at November 10. I actually already filmed this once but I didn't really like how it turned out so I thought I would just very very quickly refilm it. Very very simple just sit down kind of video and just share with you what I plan to read or what I hope to read for the month of November. So I'm going to share first what I've been reading, which is Behind Her Eyes by Sarah Penborough. So I borrowed it from Libby and I've been reading it for a couple of days now on and off. I haven't really been reading a lot this past few days, but it's a suspense thriller book which is about this um, so we have a woman named Louise and she's a single mom and she meets this guy in a bar, has a great time, makes out, you know, but she then realizes that the guy is actually one, her new boss, and two, actually married. <laughs> and um, his boss, he seems to have like this perfect marriage, but it seems like there's something off about the marriage. I've already read a little bit of this. And I know that it's written in multiple perspectives. So far, I've gotten the perspective of Louise and Adele. Adele is the wife um, of the guy that Louise meets at the bar. And I guess, given the title, Behind Her Eyes, I'm guessing that we have um, POVs from the women in the story. I'm not quite sure. I'm guessing at this point. So yeah, I'm reading that so far. I really like the... Um, storytelling and the writing it's a lot more lyrical there's a lot more flowery language compared to the other thrillers that I've read in the past month and I'm super excited I hope this is a good one I feel like it's gonna be a good one a lot of people have told me um, that they also really like this one and there's also a Netflix adaptation that I might be watching after I read the book so yeah behind her eyes Sarah Pinborough the next book that I want to read, um, I'm actually just going to go through all the books in my um, Libby first. I'm not going to, I do have some physical books that I want to read, but I'm going to start with the books that I'm borrowing from the library. This is kind of exciting for me because if you know me at all, you know that I'm not really an audiobook girly. <laughs> like, it's not because I don't like audiobooks, but I just have a hard time concentrating while listening to an audiobook. I don't retain the story as well as I would have if I was reading it. So I want to give audiobooks another try. What better audiobook to start this new journey with than Daisy Jones and the Six? I know it's kind of like flickering for you, but yeah. Daisy Jones and the Six by Taylor Jenkins Reid. I honestly have no idea what this is about. I just know that it's kind of like it has like a band music element to it but a lot of people have said that the audiobook is really good i listened to just like the intro part of it and there's music and i think there's a full cast so that's kind of exciting i've never um listened to an audiobook with a full cast and like sound effects and everything i've only listened to the ones with like a single narrator no background music no special effects so maybe this will make it more um interesting for me to listen to so yeah Daisy Jones and the Six by Taylor Jenkins Reid I'm gonna update you maybe in a reading vlog what I think about audiobooks after that um, another book or I guess a set of books that I'm planning on reading is actually oh, can you see it can you see it <laughs> it ends with us and it starts with us by Colleen Hoover I've only read Verity by Colleen Hoover and I quite enjoyed it it's not like whoa amazing the best for me but i did enjoy it it did give me the creeps i did feel the like thriller aspect of it so i thought i would give this book it ends with us and it starts with us a try because a lot of people seem to be polarized over this book um on one hand people like love love and worship this book and on the other hand people like hate the book like they think that it should not have been written things like that so i kind of want to know where i fall in the spectrum so i thought i would just give it a chance 
Um, I hope I can read it fast. A lot of people say it's like a really, really quick read. So I have both books borrowed right now. It took a while for this books to come in. Like the waiting time for these books are so long. So I'm quite excited to read this book. Um, yeah, it ends with us and it starts with us by Colleen Hoover. Okay, what else do I have in here? One thing that I definitely wanted to do was to read a book that is written by a Filipino author and also written in the Filipino language or at least mostly in the Filipino language. And the book that I plan to read is Decada Setenta by Luwal Hati Bautista. So this just means the 70s basically and this book is about a very important topic which is martial law in the Philippines. It is I believe a fictional book that is set during the martial law or at least yeah during the martial law and we're just following this woman and I guess her family and what happens to her as a woman during the time of martial law. Um, a very important book to read especially now in a time of historical revisionism so I thought now would be a great um, time to read it especially since I want to read one Filipino book every month. So Decada Sedenta by Luan Hati Bautista. The next physical book that I am planning to read is actually a YA. I got this from the Half Price Books in the US. I got it at a very very good price. Um, it's yeah I got it for like $11 and I really love the cover design, the book design. I felt like they really put a lot of effort into making the book look very interesting and it's like on theme and everything. If you watch my USA book haul, you probably know what I'm talking about and it's Illuminae by Amy Kaufman and Jake Kristoff. So this is the first book in the Illuminae Files series. I have no idea what the series is about. I know that a lot of people actually like this book. I where's the, Do we have a synopsis anywhere? Okay, we do have one. Something about space and AI stuff. I don't know. I don't really want to know what it's about. Like, I don't want to read about the synopsis right now. But the cool thing about this book is that it's not written in just, you know, plain text and whatnot. It's like files. See, look at that. Every single page is a file, like a transcript or maybe a document or an email, which makes sense because the name of the series is The Illuminate Files. And I thought that was a really cool concept and I'm very intrigued. I also have the second book, but I don't think I'm going to be reading that this one. I just want to dip my toes into YA again. Super interesting, like it has like folder covers and whatnot. So I thought that this would be a good like chill book to read in between all of the sort of heavy books that I plan to read. So yeah. Illuminae by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. Now the next book that I'm reading is actually going to be a reread. So I have been wanting to reread this book ever since I got the physical copy because I read this um, via my Kindle last year and it was my favorite, I think it was my favorite book last year. And that is Miss Born by Brandon Sanderson. So Miss Born is the first book Actually, The Final Empire is the title. It's the first book of the Mistborn series trilogy, and it's a fantasy. Is this YA? I actually don't know if it's YA. How do you know if a book is YA? Did it tell you? Okay, I have no idea. Anyway, um, this is a fantasy book, and it revolves around this like group of misfits who try to overthrow the existing like government like authority because it's corrupt and everything so it's kind of like a very typical fantasy plot in that sense but i really enjoyed the magic system it's super unique and it's also um very well thought out like the plot and very well written and i love the relationships between the different characters as well as how the characters are portrayed so i thought it was a really good first book and I have been wanting to read the entire trilogy. I have them all as physical books because I collected them last year. But I just haven't had the time to like, dive into a big fantasy series. And I also wanted to reread Miss Born before reading the second and third book. So now is the time. I'm going to be reading Miss Born. And 
I want to consider annotating or maybe just like underlining stuff. I know I highlighted a lot of it um, with my Kindle and I don't know if I want to go back and highlight the things that I highlighted in the ebook or in the Kindle version, but yeah, I'm kind of excited to have such a chunky book. Super excited to dive back into this world. Final Empire by Brandon Sanderson is gonna be the last book that I plan to read for November. Those are all the books that I wanna read for the month of November. So I have three physical books, Miss Board by Brandon Sanderson, Illuminate by um, Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff, Decada Sustenta or the 70s by Luol Hati Bautista, um, Daisy Jones and the Six by Taylor Jenkins Reid, It Starts With Us and It Ends With Us by Colleen Hoover, and then Behind Her Eyes by Sarah Pinborough. And also I have Spy Family Volume 2 and 3 as well, so I might read those. I feel like manga is just a good sort of like way to break up my reading. I'm super excited for this month because I'm reading physical books. It's been a while since I read a good physical book. The last one, I believe, was um, Jade Legacy by Fonda Lee. So I am very excited. I hope you have a good reading month. I hope I have a good reading month. And I will see you in the next video. Bye!